Hey ladies and gents, it's Izdwiz coming at you with the review of the Night King from Game of Thrones. This is from McFarlane Toys, and it's part of a first wave of figures that includes Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, and Arya Stark, and a little itty big, bitty bitty dragon called Viseron that I'm not picking up because it does not work with uh, six scale figures. Now, I have to say that when I saw these on the pegs, um, I saw Jon Snow and I saw Daenerys Targaryen and those were immediate um, no's for me. Hard pass. Daenerys Targaryen is played by a beautiful actress, but if you were to just look at the action figure that they put out of her, she looks like uh, a monkey, like a cross between a monkey and a, um, I don't know, something else that's quite unsightly. Uh, was not impressed with the quality of the paint apps on her. Wasn't particularly impressed with Jon Snow. And um, the only reason I picked up Night King is because I collected the Funko figures. And um, the Funko... Uh, figures were a bit hit and miss, but it was a good try for a company that was just coming out and uh, taking its first foray into these sort of highly detailed, highly articulated um, action figures with a big giant um, license like Game of Thrones from HBO. So first off, um, I wanted to see how these compared to the Game of Thrones figures from Funko, and I like the fact that they come with a stand. Um, you will note that um, I've got a bunch of these Game of Thrones figures back there, and those are Funko Game of Thrones figures, and I just have them there for comparison size-wise. Uh, first thing about Night King, if you're hoping to pose him with your um, Game of Thrones figures from Funko, the size is going to be um, a bit smaller for him. Here's a, here's a walker that I got from Funko. And I think McFarlane has a far superior sculpt and better paint apps when it comes to the undead. You might notice that this guy is missing a hand. And that's because uh, when I took him out, to uh, compare and contrast, I had a rude awakening. First of all, I looked at the figure from Funko and I was like, well, um, I look, look at these intricate paint apps. I noticed like a white dusting that I hadn't noticed before. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool how they did that. Guess what? It wasn't any sort of paint app. It was the plastic from this figure decomposing. So when I tried one of the joints, I noted that it had clear plastic, which should never ever be used on the joints of an articulated figure. And it snapped, you know, just easy as pie. And I don't know how widespread this problem is with the Funko figures, but obviously um, if you don't have them, you don't have to worry about them. If you do have them, watch out for that sort of plastic decomposition and uh, figures with brittle clear plastic joints because they are not going to last. So I just wanted to say that about Funko um, and compare to what we see here from McFarlane. I can tell you already that the joints on the McFarlane figure are uh, stronger and better. There's a ratchet joint. You feel that immediately with the elbow. There's a good wide range of motion at the wrist. Um, it, you can get practically any pose out of that. So you've got that at the elbow, you've got a swivel at the bicep, and you've got wide range of motion too. The plastic on these um, feels like quality plastic. So um, the shoulders are a bit hindered here when you take them up. Um, because this plastic is semi-rigid, but that's how high the um, hands go. Um, the neck 
has a pretty decent range of motion when it comes to side to side, but up and down is extremely, extremely limited. Um, he also has a waist swivel. Um, and he's got this pliable skirt where he has a more ratchet joints. I can feel him. Uh, he can do the splits. He can go forward. He can go backward. He um, has single jointed knees. Not quite the 90 degree angle pose on that. But they feel strong and they, and they also swivel. And then he's got swivel at the ankle and rocker at the ankle. So um, all in all, I'm happy with the sculpt. I'm happy with the plastic. I'm happy with the articulation. Um, but let me show you how uh, he compares size wise. I also like the weapons on this guy. Um, let me pull those out of the package here. He's got this sort of maybe a ice sword or probably some sort of enchanted weapon, kind of a battle scythe uh, thing. And then he's got this second sword, which is another kind of a sharp icicle type spear slash sword. Um, see how those fit in his hands. They fit in there nicely and they look good. And, um, you know, I've got a couple of these walkers, so I'll probably pose him like up above and then down below so you don't notice the huge size differential because he's going to be kind of Napoleon-esque. Now, the other thing I want to do is compare him with some of the uh, figures from the Funko Wave so you, you can have a look at that. Um, here's Brianna Tarth. She's taller than him. She's supposed to be a very, very tall woman, however. Um, so though they don't look incompatible in that respect. You also have um, the Hound, who's a very, very tall man. And he you'd expect him to dwarf the Night King as well, for the most part. Um, we have John Stark. So they, he's, he's shorter than the Night King, actually. So, there you go. That makes sense. So, maybe taller than the average uh, male uh, when it comes to Game of Thrones figures. Here he is next to Daenerys Targaryen. She's a short female, so he towers over her. And then, of course, uh, Tyrion Lannister. The little guy, the little dwarf. Um, so yeah, I would say that size-wise, uh, these figures look like they're gonna fit in. There he is next to Jamie Lannister, right around the same size. They're gonna fit in really well with what we got from Funko. Hopefully, the problems associated with the Funko Night King um, aren't widespread, and and our figures will hold up. So I'm happy I got him. I hope McFarlane ups the quality when it comes to the paint apps and such uh, and, the, and the likenesses. I don't know if it's a problem with the paint or the likenesses. When it came to Daenerys Targaryen, she's supposed to be a beautiful woman. Um, and she looks like she fell off the ugly, ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. That's a problem. But I have a couple of her already, so if they just drop the ball... I got a couple of Funko ones who are going to be able to step in. I don't know how many of these figures from McFarlane I'll, I'll collect. They go for uh, $19.99 at Target. But um, I think I'll just pick and choose and pick up the ones that I haven't uh, gotten. If you want a really, really cool army of the, armed in, uh, of the, of the undead, uh, as always, I recommend Mythic Legions. You can see the difference there size-wise. Um, it's a different scale, but they've got gobs and gobs of skeletons and undead warriors to choose from. Um, a little bit bigger, um, but um, and a little bit pricier, but well worth the difference. This is um, uh, one of my favorite um, skeleton figures from 
the Mythic Legions assortment. So anyway, uh, I think that's about it for this um, review. I think Night King is a nice addition to my collection. I like his weapons. I like the, the wash and um, the intricacy of the paint job. The sculpt is nice. Um, you know, he's very evil and imposing looking even though he's not huge and he doesn't tower over uh, the normal figures. Um, and uh, really looking forward to this next season of Game of Thrones. And uh, hopefully it's a good one. All right. Is the Wiz signing out.